Yeah, I was, so he tells me again in the morning, uh, it's another day, we're in Wilkes-Barre, and uh, he's telling me, he says, I, I can't, like, I can't talk, I can't do the radio, we're on the road. He's got all the equipment, I mean, he's, he, he's able to be there for me to give me direction, so it's not like he was going to throw me blind into the, to, into the situation. But um, yeah, he just kind of told me you'd have to like call the game for me. I had done colors with him in, on a couple of occasions when uh, when when I wasn't when I wasn't playing or something. But uh, that one wasn't for color; it was for play-by-play -play and the whole thing, pretty much. So that one got me nervous, a lot more nervous than the goalie. But uh, uh, you know, again, just kind of like why not? Really, like there's there's nothing to lose. It's not like I'm got anything to save or like it's it's fine it's all in good fun people people will laugh and I can help out the situation so I did it and it wasn't too bad apparently but Eric got really mad at me because the first goal that we scored uh, my reaction was a little wasn't up to the standard that he would have liked he was expect he was hoping for fireworks and I was kind of quiet so then the second time we store we scored I picked it up but uh just again, all in good fun, funny. The players in the room were, were loving it. Then they were saying after that, like, we got to get you in the mascot suit next game because that's pretty much the only thing you haven't done. But I stayed away from that one. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's another thing that happened there. Seemed like, oh, that was, that was kind of the way it was over there. There was just always situation that presented themselves. And we usually dealt with them with a little bit of humor, a little bit like, went in we had a good group and just kind of how we do it guys willing to chip in whatever it is even if sometimes you got to make a little fun of yourselves